What's up, YouTube? It's uh, Chris from Casual Yu-Gi-Oh here, uh, coming at you guys today with my long-awaited Cyber Dragon deck profile for August 2018. Um, Cyber Dragons was kind of like my first functioning deck that I made, like in I don't know the modern era of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I didn't start really playing them until like probably like five years ago, but I always loved them. I was one of them. They were just way too pricey back in the day. But uh, Cyber Dragons just got new support, so it's time to make a new deck profile. So without further ado, let's begin. Uh, triple Cyber Dragon. Um, you, you can, if you wanted the nicest blinged out version, the ultis are like ninety dollars. Go for it, but uh, I don't have that kind of money. So um, ninety dollars a piece. Yeah. Holy shit. First dead near mint ulti Cyber Dragon. Yeah. Uh, so Cyber Dragon, you have to have it in here. Be he's the original name. If you want to play things like Machine Dupe or just Fuse or do anything rank five plays, what this deck does, you need the original at three. Um, I kind of love this alternate artwork. It looks cool. Um, so that's it for that. Uh, three Cyber Dragon Core. Core came out in the structure deck with Cyber Dragons like four years ago. Uh, Core says if he's normal summon, you can add a Cyber Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. And because of the new support they added, we finally have more to search than just like Cyber Repair Plant. So he's, I, don't, I want to say more important than ever. His graveyard effect is more important than ever, which says... If your opponent controls a monster and you don't, banish him from the graveyard, special summon a cyber dragon monster from your deck. Um, that's pretty much all he does, but he's a great card. Three, staple, like you, you gotta play. Uh, and then the new one, cyber dragon hers. Uh, three of. So he has <clears throat> two effects. The first thing you would notice is that he's a level one. I don't have the room for one and one, one for one in here, but if you wanted to play it, that's fine. But, uh, He's got 100 attacks, so it means he's a machine dupe target, so that's good, as well as Cyber Dragon Core is also a machine dupe target. Uh, but he says if he is special summon, you can make this card level 5, and then I think you can't special summon anything other than machines for the rest of the turn. Uh, you use about like both the effects like 50-50. The other effect is if it's sent to the graveyard period, you can add a Cyber Dragon from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Um, it has to be the original Cyber Dragon, but... You use both of these effects about the same amount, so I can't say which one's more important or whatever, but um, he's a definite three of. He just helps the deck so much as far as giving you a, a, a practical Cyber Dragon monster that you can put in here that you can fuse with and XYZ with and do all that kind of stuff, but he's also a machine dupe target. It's pretty genius of the uh, of Konami to come up with a guy that can be a machine dupe, but as well can also be a rank five play to go into your stuff and be fusion fire. It's pretty... If anyone complains about Cyber Dragon hers, I just don't think they understand how the deck works. Uh... Three Cyber Dragon Dre, and this card goes right in with. Let's see if I scoot it down. Three Cyber Dragon Veer. Uh, so Dre says if he's normal summoned, you can uh, make all Cyber Dragons you control level five. This guy says if you normal special summon a Cyber Dragon, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. He also boosts all Cyber Dragon uh, Cyber Dragons on the field by 500 attack and defense, including himself. Um, so basically what you do is you, if you have both these in your hand, you normal summon Dre and you activate Dre's effect to make everything a level 5 and then on the summon, you're chaining, you, re you chain to the summon and you special summon Cyber Dragon Veer and then when Veer is on the field, that's when Dre's effect will finally resolve and then he will become a level 5. So they made a perfect like rank 5 you know, card to go into that. So um, I play 3 of this, I think he's great. I used to play... Proto Cyber Dragon because it didn't activate an effect to like contact fuse or whatever, but uh, this card just like better in every way. It's better. It's better than the other Cyber Dragon fillings that you were playing before. Um, is this name treated as Cyber Dragon? Yeah, they're all. Okay. All these are treated as Cyber Dragon on the field and in the graveyard. Yeah, the before Proto Cyber Dragon. The problem with him was he wasn't treated as Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. Yeah, that thing's 100 better than. There was an advantage to being able to summon him and like not activate an effect and then contact fuse your opponent's monster. That was oh, cool. Oh, because but, you didn't want to get struck yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, next I play two Galaxy Soldiers, and I, this is, like, controversial because everyone says you have to play three. Uh, I don't really ever want to see two. If you ever see two of this in your hand, that's not a good thing because you're not going to get the other effect to search, so it feels, like, kind of wasted. Um, you have enough rank five, like, enabler plays in here. You don't really need three. Like, you really don't. If I see the one, this card is searchable in here with uh, a spell card, so, like, it's not hard to get. And you just pitch, and then when, t when you pitch and he's on the field, he searches for the other one. I don't need a third one because well, maybe now you don't need a third one. I don't Maybe's think you. I don't think you need a. Before you need a three. Eh, yeah. I still made the deck work. Uh, Galaxy Soldier. If anyone doesn't know, he, you discard a light monster to special summon him. 
from your hand, and then uh, he has to be in defense, and then when he's summoned, you search another Galaxy card from your deck to your hand, including himself, so you just search Galaxy Soldier. But Galaxy Soldier, you could, like, I only play two. I understand when you can play three. I have another card uh, that goes with this card uh, I'll show in the extra deck. So, one Cyber Eltonin. So, this is a card that I've gone back and forth in the past. Sometimes I really like it, sometimes I don't, but this card says you can banish any number of uh, light machines from your field or your graveyard and however many you have banished he gets 500 attack for but uh, once he hits the field he sends all face up monsters to the field of the graveyard so a non-destructive uh, board removal is pretty awesome for monsters at least and he's searchable because he's a light machine and he's searchable even more because of the new card that they uh, added in here so uh, I'll get to that but yeah Cyber Eltonin I think he's a great card I mean you don't have to play him if you don't want to but I think you kind of make a mistake because it's nice to just have a searchable out to everything um, one Gear Spring Spirit. I haven't seen any other Cyber Dragon player play this. This is kind of my tech. Um, so basically, he can't be normal summoner set. He has to be special summoned by having at least one machine in your graveyard, and all the monsters in your graveyard have to be machine. Uh, he's only got a hundred attack, but his effect is you can target a monster on the field and reduce its attack to zero. The main reason I play him is because he's just kind of a free special summon. He's level eight, and I can go into a rank eight play, which I'll go into how I do it. I'll do the combo, but. Uh, he's really easy to get into, and there's some there's a good rank A play you can make that's pretty consistent. Um, next, Kaiju Package. Play one Dogeron and one Jizakiru. So, uh, if you guys saw my Dinosaur deck profile uh, that I uploaded like a week ago, mainly what I would do is I would always keep the level 10 and give my opponent the uh, level 8 Dinosaur. This deck, it's the opposite. You want to give them the machine, and you take the Dogeron. You can make the rank, is, I mean, this is pretty much the play. If you have Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, you can do it and keep the level 8 Dogeron on your field, then special summon Gear Spring Spirit, because you usually have a machine already in your graveyard. And then you can go into a rank 8, uh, or you can do this with anything. If you have a Cyber Dragon monster, you can contact Fuse into Fortress Dragon and then summon him, then go into rank 8. But uh, you just contact Fuse with the Jizakiro that your opponent you gave your opponent. I mean, uh, that play, the first time I ever saw it was in, like, uh... A tournament, I think it was a uh, Nats or something like that, a world tournament, uh, about two years ago. So it was like some French kid, so credit to him. Um, one interrupted Kaiju Slumber for the uh, Kaiju play. Um, you could always play another Jizakiro in here to play three Kaijus, um, but that's pretty much it. Everyone knows what that does. So here's the new card Triple Cyber Emergency. Cyber Emergency says you can uh, add a light machine that can't be normal summon or set from your deck and add to your hand or you can add a cyber dragon monster from your deck to your hand i like three of this card because you're i mean i really never see more than one of it in a hand it's a hard once per turn you can only activate one per turn but um the awesome thing about it is just being able to add any cyber dragon monster and unlike the next card cyber repair plant with cyber mercy you don't need a cyber dragon in your graveyard to play it that's the problem with cyber repair plant is you need a cyber dragon in your graveyard to be able to play it and there's some times where you just don't have that yet. Um, so I only play two Cyber Repair Plant because you have great searchability. If you ever wanted to play more than, if you wanted to play three, you could. But I just play two for right now and I haven't had a problem with it. I, I like to. Uh, cyber Repair Plant just says add a light machine from your deck or graveyard to your hand. That's all it's doing. Um, one Cyber Rev System. So this is a new card they printed as a secret rare. So it's kind of harder to get. Um, a lot of these cards you can do like kind of any combination you would want I would never tell someone they're stupid if they played like three because this isn't a once per turn uh, It just says you can special summon a cyber dragon from your graveyard uh, And then that monster can't be destroyed by card effects So like that could be really cool if you get out like something like big with it or you just need like protection to go into a rank five play whatever but um, I think it's a searchable all these cyber cards are searchable So I mean I don't really feel like you need to go overboard with the amount that you play um Three, Machine Duplication. Machine Dupe, now that you have... Before, people played Machine Dupe in Cyber Dragons, and it really didn't make sense to me because you only have one target, Cyber Dragon Core, and I just like felt like there was going to be a lot of times where I would draw Machine Dupe and not have a Machine Dupe target, and that's a dead card in your hand, and Cyber Dragons, really, you don't want dead cards. Um, machine Dupe, now that you have Cyber Dragon Hers and Cyber Dragon Core, that's two monsters that you play three of each that could be Machine Dupe, so... Um, and if anyone who doesn't isn't aware of what Machine Dupe does in Cyber Dragons, Machine Dupe says you summon the name of the monster on the field. Well, the name of the monster on the field is Cyber Dragon, so even though you're using like a low low, low attack monster, you summon the original Cyber Dragon from your deck and you can go up to two. Um, 
And then three Power Bond. Uh, I've never understood why there's Cyber Dragon players that don't play Power Bond. It makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. This card can win you a game by itself, and it's not hard at all. It, it, the, the card is, is absolutely retarded. Like, the monster doesn't get destroyed at the end phase. You take some damage, but, like, who cares if you can, like, take the chance of killing your opponent? I think people are too focused uh, when they make Cyber Dragons on getting out. They exceed... Yeah, they, they just they they want to stand on an infinity, just like oh I made infinity, and, like my opponent can't get over it, and then your opponent gets over it and you lost. Oh, all it takes is a dark hole. Okay, yeah. to negate that. Like all right, well now I can just continue. Yeah. Game. And then you, it, I, if that's all your deck does, and they, they 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 have hand traps or they have set traps or monster effects to stop your next one, and you're like oh shit. The fusion version of Cyber Dragons, uh, if you build it right, is the superior version because you can output you can put out more damage than like the X Y Z version, like and not it's not even close. Uh, triple overload fusion. Um, you gotta have the ulti. Uh, it's the only hollow version of it. Well, they printed a super rare recently, but that looks like trash. You gotta have the ulti. Um, it's not that expensive, is it? Uh, triple, so Chase, as you would point out, I have to point out when these are first ed, and these are first ed near mint. Triple first ed. Near mint, overload Those fusion ulti. Rare, or are they expensive? Yeah. Oh. Okay. They're like $20, 30 a pop. Oh my god, how did you get them? Trades. You just traded people for Yeah. Them. Um, well, there was a dude that showed up to the local card shop, and he was, like, the Cyber Dragon guy that, like, had all that in his binder. He had three ulti Cyber Dragons, original print, and I was like, tempting, but no, can't do that. But, uh, $90 a piece. yeah, in, anyway, Overload Fusion, now that we're in, like, Master Rule 4, I do generally would rather, pl I play this deck generally in Master Rule 3, but you can play it in Master Rule 4, it's just going to be a little slower. You can always, you can literally always play an Overload Fusion, it's just whether you have the zones to open up to do it, but like if you have nothing out there, Overload Fusion is pretty much always live, I don't know why you wouldn't play it. It gets out, it, it, no secret, it gets out Rampage Dragon, Rampage Dragon's like the most busted fusion ever, but we'll get to that. But three Overload Fusion, uh, one Foolish Burial, Foolish Burial can dump Cyber Dragon Core, or any other Cyber Dragon you wanted, but to give you another fodder for something, but Foolish Burial, you dump Cyber Dragon Core from your deck to the graveyard, and then you use Core's Effect to banish itself if your opponent controls a monster, and it gives you a free Cyber Dragon on the field. So, um, yeah, a staple, I would say. One Instant Fusion, you could always bump this to, like, two or three if you really wanted to. Um, instant Fusion gets out Panzer Dragon, which is a level 5 machine. That's the entire reason you're playing it. You could play more if you wanted to. Um, and lastly, one Limiter Removal, I don't understand. Like, if you're playing a machine deck that's trying to kill your opponent, why the hell do you not play Limiter Removal? Limit removal is not the original attack, it's the current attack of the monster. So, like, in a deck that uses Power Bond, and you can, like, hey, I Power Bond into, like, something that has, like, 4,200 attack. If you go Limit Removal, like, how do they survive that? It attacks three times, 8,400, it's ridiculous. But Limit Removal is a one of, I don't, it's worth the risk, it's worth trying it. Like, Limit Removal can win you a game by itself. Um, and then, onto the extra deck, so... Like I said, the one Panzer Dragon, Panzer Dragon for the Instant Fusion play. Uh, if you don't actually go into a summon with him, an XYZ summon, if he stays on the field and Instant Fusion kills him, he'll pop a card on your opponent's field. So, I mean, that's not terrible, but uh, he's just there for the rank 5 plays. I play two Rampage Dragons. I'll probably bump this down to one or find something to take out of here. There's a new fusion for Cyber Dragons called Cyber Eternity Dragon. Uh, I'm going to play him, so I might bump this down to one, but... Rampage Dragon is the most busted card ever. When I saw this card getting printed, I was like, wow. I was like, uh, they weren't even like trying to hide how like busted they wanted to make this. So basically, when he's fusion summoned, you can pop spells and traps on your opponent's field up to the number of materials you use to make him, which is at least always two. And then, uh, and he just takes Cyber Dragon monsters. Uh, and then you just dump light machines from your deck to the graveyard, and you can do up to two, which you always do two. And then he gets to attack that many more times. So basically, you can dump two light machines and he attacks three times. He pops back when he comes on the field and you can summon him with Overload Fusion or Power Bond. Power Bond amount, he's at what, 42? 42. 42. Can attack three times. Ridiculous. Uh, and then one Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. This is your contact fusion plays. Um, you just give him a Jizakiru or if they're playing machines in general. Uh, and yeah, you just take it. Uh, I really like him just because he's a level 8 and you can go into a rank 8 play with him. Uh, Cyber Twin Dragon. Uh, so for a long time, like I wouldn't play this card because I was like, well, you'd always go into Rampage. But there's times where Cyber Twin, because his effect is not activated, is actually what you need. So if you can power bond to Cyber Twin and your opponent's like, oh, I have a Solemn Strike, you're not activating effect. You just attack twice with 5600. Like there's nothing they could do about that. So there's times where you'd rather go into this. Uh, one Chimera Tech Over Dragon. Uh, Chimera Tech Over Dragon. He's another Overload Fusion play. He just needs a Cyber Dragon and any amount of machines you want. Uh, 
Uh, so he can get into he can be huge. I think I've summoned him where he had like eight thousand before, but uh, he can attack as many times as the materials that you use to make him. So like if your opponent now that we're in like link format, if by chance they had six monsters on the field and you use six materials, you can attack them all. So um, he's always I don't understand like I think people if you're running overload fusion you need to play this card. Um, and then uh, Cyber End Dragon, uh, you have to play the OG Cyber End Dragon. You, like, there are going to be times where, like, if you had a Powerbomb play, you would rather just, like, get out an 8,000 that can just get over anything and has piercing. And it doesn't really feel like Cyber Dragons without Cyber End. Um, and then for the XYZs, uh, a lot of Rank 5s. One Shark Fortress can help with OTKs. You detach a material to target a monster you control, including you can kill himself, and that monster can attack twice. Can Stellar Pallades, uh be honest with you, I can't make this card as easy as I used to because of the fact that before I would run like Chronomaly Golden Jet, which is not a bad card to get in here, uh, it doesn't have the restriction about only being able to summon machines afterwards. So, uh, But there's still times where I can make this card, um, and it's worth it because Pallades can kind of just like stall out your opponent for a turn or help you on the offensive side by bouncing a card. Um, wind up Arsenal's in Mayo. I remember it took me a while to like track down this card at a card shop, but I finally got one. I just like having it. Because he is a machine, so it's just nice. If your opponent's playing a lot of back row and they always expect infinity, it might be nice to be able to like blow up some back row and surprise him. Um, and one Nova. Nova by himself is underrated because most people don't really use his effects that much, but he can detach a material to target a Cyber Dragon in your graveyard and special summon it. And then you can, in like the battle phase, you can just banish the Cyber Dragon to give him an extra 2100 attack points. So he can help you OTK, but in general, everyone knows you just... Summon Infinity on top of him. Everyone knows what Infinity does. I'm not even going to explain it. Uh, one Volcasaurus. So because you're playing some Kaijus, Volcasaurus is a good idea. Plus, anytime you can really go into the Cyber Dragons, you can usually always go into Volcasaurus uh, and pop something. And then you have the Thunder Charger to go on top of it to attack directly or do some piercing damage. And then lastly, the rank 8 is uh, number 90, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. So he can stop monster effects. Uh, the rank 8 is really easy to do, like I said, you can contact Fuse, and then if you have Gear Spring Spirit, you can make them, or if you have the Kaiju Slumber play, you give them the, do uh, you get the Dogrine, and then if you can make either one of those, Contact Fuse or Gear Spring, you can go into them, but basically what he can do is detach material to negate a monster effect, and then on your opponent's turn, I believe, you can just add a Galaxy card from your deck, and put it on this card as materials, a Galaxy Monster, so you just... If you haven't played your Galaxy Soldiers yet, you just grab one from the deck and put it on them as material. So that's not that's not bad at all. You could play Titanic Galaxy as your rank eight. I don't really care what you do. I just like this guy a little bit better. But um, that's it for the deck profile. Uh, Cyber Dragons is one of, if not my favorite deck. Uh, I love it. Um, and anyone who says that the, like Fusion's not the way to go with Cyber Dragons, I wholeheartedly disagree with them. So anyway, uh, that's it for uh, us. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a nice day.